Okay, so today on the channel, we're gonna go ahead and shape this brand new Open Crown American 10X hat. So in some other videos, I'll show you how I do the crown. You can click that link for that. I've shown uh, different ones, how I do different brim styles, but we're just gonna go ahead and do this one and you kinda watch along as we do it. So first thing I do, even though this is brand new, is make sure that my hands are clean and whatever I'm wearing can take you know some of this dye. So if for some reason this comes off, don't be wearing a white shirt. If you're doing a lot of hats, maybe uh, wear an apron. Even though it's also new, I'm gonna brush it off before I start. They aren't always perfectly clean. So I'll go ahead and do that. If you wanna see how to clean a hat, which direction to go, I also have a video for that that you can click the link for as well. So I just make sure it's mostly clean. Don't need to spend a ton of time doing it. Then we'll take it over to the heat and start going. So typically when you do a hat like this, you wanna make sure that it's centered on the person's head. So for this guy, I already went ahead and did that. I took a Sharpie um, and marked inside on the hat band where to go. Usually I try to stay pretty close to what the actual center is just based on looking at it. If you get too far off, it's a hard, it's really hard to get symmetry in a hat. So even though a person's face might be a little bit crooked, I might kind of change the way that I would recommend them having their hat shaped if it, if it really needs that. So if they have big symmetry issues, we might go a little flatter, something like that. So when they come, they, they come with a little bit of shape in it. I'm first just going to flatten that out and then we'll determine center and I've got heat. So here we go. I'm going to apply a good amount of heat on this. Kind of spend a lot of time at first. The higher the quality hat, the more heat you're going to need. And I'm going to put it on both sides. Because this isn't an industrial steamer, I've kind of got to sit here a little longer than you would if you were working with a professional steamer. But I'm betting a lot of you are doing this at home just like I am. So this is a realistic feel. So when it feels warm to the touch, the actual felt itself, you're probably getting good amount of heat on there. It feels pretty warm. I'm going to set it down, just start pressing and moving my hands around, trying to take out that initial bent up shape. I could hold my hands too. I kind of like to keep them moving so I get the most use out of this amount of heat. And I'll kind of just sit here and hold till this really starts to cool down. When you first start shaping hats, you spend way too much time over there and not enough time here letting it cool. So just remember to do that. When it starts to cool, we'll do it again. You don't have to take all of that bend out. Just try to relax it a little bit. Unless you're going for kind of a taco look, you certainly could leave some of that in there. This just makes it a lot easier to judge your center lines, judge your symmetry, things of the sort. So trying to take it back to a blank status, if possible. Okay, good amount of heat. Back down. We're trying to achieve a nice 90 degree angle right there at the base of the crown. In some other videos, which you can click a link on, you can certainly iron the brim. I don't necessarily like to do that on a brand new hat because it's it's pretty well good to go. But if it's bugging you, you certainly can do that. Okay, so now you can see that's leveled off a lot since we started. And that, to me, is probably fine for now. Then I'm going to determine the center of the crown. Now, if the person's here, that's a great way to do it. Like I said before, I marked that on the inside. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat the crown, find my center with my thumb. So that's hard to see. Okay. And then I can basically set it down and look at that spot. And if I need to, I can drag my hands up and go for it. Doesn't matter. Just zoom in right here. You can see my hands, how much of that dye is on there. So when I said at the beginning, make sure to wear something that you're not overly in love with because it will get on you. It can't, it, it will come off. It's not like it's there forever, but on a white shirt, it, it might stay there. That's directly, uh, you know, dye and pieces of, of the actual felt. So we'll get this center line in. Okay, so there's my spot. Keep my hand there. Okay. Now I'm just going to lightly put that in. So I just kind of walked my hands out with a little more heat. I probably could have pulled. I'm just going to hold that. 
and just assess it right off the bat. So you can see some symmetrical stuff, but I'm just going to make sure it's even with where I thought it was. We'll put a little more heat, try that again. And in this hat, we're going to put a minute crown, which is basically this line and two side divots that are not very big. This is one of my favorite crowns to put in one. You can really make a sharp looking hat that lasts for a long time. I'm going to pull that guy out just a little bit more, hold my hands while it cools. And then we're going to go back and check that center line symmetry. If it was wrong, I could move my hands this way or that way. At this point in time, we're not doing anything too stark. looks pretty decent over the top. So I'm going to just see where that center is, hold my hand, see if my lines match up pretty close. This is definitely one of those things that, you know, don't put anything in there too hard until the customer's here. So I'm going to put a couple side divots in. Then we'll go to the corners and get a start on this shape. Okay, so I'm just going to heat one side for the most part. Pretty good heat. Okay, set it down. Put my hands in the center. This is where I get to decide where that divot happens. I'm going to keep it kind of high and just pull out just a little bit. You can see what that looks like. Just like that. And definitely until the customer's here or if you don't, you know, if you're doing this and you don't have a mirror close, just get it average and then go check it out before you do anything too crazy. If you pull that divot out too far, it may not go back with the same amount of uh, accuracy. So try to line it up across. I'm just going to move those. These are not going to be perfect. They're not going to be symmetrical. Just trying to get the gist. So that's kind of the gist of a minute crown right there. And we'll fine tune that after we get these corners put. So now we're going to do the corners. This is based off of this center line. Okay. And you come out and you set your corners however wide that you want to do them. So for this customer, he's about 11 and a half to 12 inches away from the center line. So you could take a tape measure and do that. I'm going to kind of go about like that, see where it's at. And then I can measure it when he gets here. So I'm going to heat one side pretty good. When it feels warm, I'll go to the other. Once again, heat where you're shaping, not just arbitrary heat everywhere. Granted, you are moving the entire hat at once, but you do want the heat localized. So here we go. I feel like I'm getting good heat. This is another good time to make sure that your hat is facing the correct direction. So your band is always on the left. It's no fun when you put corners in the back of your hat on accident. The bow inside also will help you know that that's the back. So I'm going to put my hands right there, look at my center line down the middle, put my fingers there, and we're going to go there for the minute. And I just pull up, and you can kind of bounce if you want to, but just hold that. Okay, so I'm looking over the top to look at that symmetry. I'll also hold it in front of me. You can see how it kicks the whole front end up, but you'd want to look down here to look at that symmetry. And for me at this moment, that's not too bad. So before I set those corners hard, I'm just going to relax these sides so it doesn't kick up in the front. And we'll just kind of get a general shape, and then we'll fine-tune when he gets here. Okay, so I'm just trying to bend these sides up and nice and gracefully towards that new corner that I just put in there. Nothing too wild. Okay, so you can see some still warping up there. I'm just going to pull that down a little bit, and then we'll basically be done with the blank for now. At this point, we can adjust this hat absolutely everywhere. This just kind of gets the gist of symmetry and what to do with that. So I'm going to pull this front end down, come back to my corner that I set, pull that guy over a little bit takes a lot of time to get good at being symmetrical with both your left hand and your right hand. There's some tricks we can certainly make some videos about. We're just trying our best to get this guy started. Okay, so there's the start. The, top, the front can come down. You can see from the side it's up. I want to make sure that this customer gets exactly what they want for symmetry. So this is the start and we'll move on from there. So this is just kind of the basic overview of how to take an open crown felt hat out of the box, get it started and get it ready for you know final tuning, which we can certainly make a video about that as well. So if you like this video and wanna see more videos just like this, please like and subscribe to the Startup Cowboy channel.